क्वेश्चन इज साइन ऑफ ए प्लस साइन ऑफ बी प्लस साइन ऑफ सी इंटू साइन ऑफ ए प्लस साइन ऑफ बी माइनस साइन ऑफ सी इजिकल टू थ्री साइन ए साइन बी If you are given this trigonometric equation, then you have to prove that which option out of these four is correct. Either A is equal to 60 degree, B is equal to 60 degree, or C is equal to 60 degree, or none of these. So to prove this, first of all, we will simplify this equation. Let's. Uh, this will become. This is if we consider this A and this is B, and this is A. This is B. Then this will become a plus b into a minus b. That means this will be sine a plus sine b, the whole square plus uh, sorry minus sine square c is equal to three sine a sine b. Now this is sine square a. Plus sine square b plus two sine a sine b minus sine square c is equal to three sine of a sine of angle b. Now take this two sine a sine b on the right hand side, and you are left with sine square a plus sine square. B minus sine square C will be equal to sine A sine B. Now this will be let's take sine square A plus now this is sine square B minus sine square C. So we can take this sine of B plus C into sine of B minus C is equal to sine A sine B. Now this will be sine B plus C. Since these A B C are angles of a triangle, therefore A plus B plus C should be equal to pi, and B plus C should be equal to pi minus A. So when you put this value here. And this will become sine square a plus this is sine b plus c. So this will become sine of pi minus a, and that is again equal to sine of a sine of b minus c is equal to sine of a into sine of b. Now take sine outside. You get sine of a plus sine of b minus c is equal to sine of a sine of b. Now, if you use this property here once again, then we can write sine of a sine of a is pi minus B plus C, and that will become sine of B plus C plus sine of B minus C. This will be equal to sine of A sine of B. Now, here we will apply. Sine C plus sine D, that is two sine C plus D by two cos C minus D by two.
and this will be equal to sine of a into sine of b. Now this will become sine of a into 2, this is still cancel out, 2 b over 2 which will become sine b into cos, this b b will cancel out cos c is equal to sin a into sin b. That means 2 sin a sin b cos c minus sin a sin b will be equal to 0. Now take sin a sin b common, we are left with 2 cos c minus 1 is equal to 0. Now either sin a into sin b will be equal to 0 or 2 cos c minus 1 will be equal to 0. From here, either sin a equal to 0 or sin b is equal to 0. That means either angle a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0, which is not possible in both cases, in case of a and in case of b. Because if a, any one of a or b will be 0, then it will not remain a triangle. Therefore, taking this is not possible. Taking this one, we will get cos c is equal to 1 by 2. Now the value of cos c is 1 by 2 at pi by 3, that means 60 degree. Therefore, c is equal to 60 degree, which is the right option. Now, next question is, if in a triangle ABC, you are given that tan of A plus tan of B plus tan of C is equal to 6 and tan of A into tan of B is given to you that is equal to 2. Find the value of sin square A is to sin square B is to sin square C. Now find to find these ratios, first of all, let's find out the value of tan A plus tan B. Now for tan A plus tan B, we can put tan of A plus B into 1 minus tan of A into tan of B. Plus tan of C is equal to 6. Now from here, put the value of tan A, tan B is equal to 2. So you will get tan of A plus B into 1 minus 2 plus tan c equal to 6. Now, what is tan a plus b? Now since they are angle of a triangle, so you can take that a plus b plus c is equal to pi. Now, tan a plus b is tan of pi minus c into minus 1 plus tan of c equal to 6. Now this is tan pi minus c is minus tan c and minus minus will make it plus. So you will get tan c plus tan c is equal to 6 and or 2 tan c is equal to 6 and tan c is equal to 3. Now from here
you can write tan c is equal to 3. Here, perpendicular over base, if you take perpendicular equal to 3 and base is equal to 1, then sin c will be equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse, which will be 3, 3 is a 9 plus 1, root of 10. Now, sin square c will be equal to 9 by 10. Now, to find sin square a and sin square b, put the value of tan c, which was 2, uh, sorry, which was 3 here. This is tan of, write it in small letter, tan of a plus tan of b plus 3 equal to 6. And you can say that tan A plus tan B is equal to 3. And you are also given that tan A into tan B is equal to 2. Now if we take tan alpha and tan beta, or just can say that tan A and tan B are root of a quadratic equation, then this equation will be given by x square minus sum of the root, that is minus 3x, plus product of the root 2. From here, you get x equal to 1 or x equal to 2. Now, that means tan A will be equal to 1 and tan B equal to 2. You can take it in other way, like tan B is equal to 2 or tan A is equal to 1. It's hardly matter. So now, if tan A is 1, then A angle A is 45 degree, and sine of A will be equal to 1 by root 2, and sine square A will be equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, for tan B, sine B will be equal to, this is 2 over under 2 cos square plus 1, under 5. Or you can write that sin square b is equal to 4 over 5. Now put this value in this ratio, you will get 9, uh, sorry, this is sin square c. So first of all, you write sin square a, this is 1 by 2, is to 4 by 5, is to 9 by 10. And this is equal to 5 is to 8 is to 9. This is the ratio of sin square a is to sin square b is to sin square c. Now, next question. You are given that tan 25 degree is equal to x. And you have to find out the value for tan 155 degree minus tan of 115 degree over 1 plus tan of 155 degree and tan of 115 degree. You have to find out the value of this expression in terms of x. So, what you write here? This is tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A tan B, which was equal to tan of A minus B. And this comes out tan of 40 degree. Now we can write, this is 40 degree. Now this is not in the multiple of 25. So we will try to convert this 40 degree into a multiple of 25 degree. That we can do by changing the trigonometric function. If it is tan of 40 degree, then we can write this is equal to tan of 90 minus 50 degree. And this is equivalent to cot of 50 degree. Now this can be easily converted into multiple of 25. Therefore, you will write cot of 50 degree will be equal to this is equal to 1 by tan 50 degree. 1 over tan 50 degree. And this 1 over tan, tan 2 theta is equal to 1 over 2 tan theta whole over 1 minus 
tan square 25 degree and this will become 1 minus tan square 25 degree whole over 2 tan 25 degree and when you put the value of tan 25 x here so this will become 1 minus x square over 2x which is the required value for this expression in terms of x. Now, next question is, if A is equal to 130 degree, and small x is equal to sin a plus cos a. You have to tell that either x will be positive, negative, equal to 0. So, to prove or to find out either it's a positive, negative, or 0, first of all, we will try to convert this expression sin a plus cos a, which is on the right hand side of the equation. We will try to make it to convert it in, into a single multiple uh, function, if we multiply it by root 2 and divide it by root 2, then we will get root 1 by root 2 sine of a plus 1 by root 2 cos of a. Now, this is equal to root 2 and we will write sine of a. Now, 1 by root 2 can be written as cos 5 by 4 cos pi by 4, or you can say 45 degree plus sin 45 degree into cos of angle A. Now this is what? This is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So this will be going to root 2 sin of A plus 45 degree. Now you are given that A is equal to 130 degree. Now, if you put 135 degree here, we will get root 2 sine of 130 degree plus 45 degree. Now, this will be equal to root 2 sine of 175 degree. Now, there is no need to find out the value of sine 175 degree because you have to just tell that either x will be negative, positive, or 0. So this is sufficient to tell you that either this will be positive or negative or 0 because sin 175, 175 angle lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant sin is positive. Therefore, you can say that this value is greater than 0 or you can come to the conclusion that x is greater than 0. Now, Next question is tan square 36 degree plus k sine of 18 degree plus cos of 36 degree is equal to 5. Now here just put the value of sine 18 degree cos 36 degree tan square 36 degree. From here you can find out k sine 18 degree plus cos 36 degree is equal to pi minus tan square 36 degree. And when here sin 18 degree is equal to fall under the root, this is pi, uh, sorry, this is equal to cos of 36 is root 5 plus 1 by 4 and this is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4 into k equal to 5 minus this is sin square 36 degree over uh, 
this will become cos square 36 degree. Now this is 1 1 will cancel out and you are left with 2 root 5 over 4 and that is equal to k root 5 by 2 is equal to 5 minus what is sin 36? Sin 36 is 110 minus uh, 5 root 2 by 4 over root of 5 minus 1 by 4 the whole square and the whole square this value you can find from the relation that sin 36 degree equal to this is equal to what this is 2 sin 18 degree cos of 18 degree. Uh, sorry, this is not 5 root 2, this is 2 root 5. So, you will have 2 root 5. Now, this will be equal to so, k root 5 by 2 is going to 5 minus whole under the root 10 minus 2 root 5 over 4 the whole square over root 5 minus 1 over 4 the whole square. Now, when you will simplify it, you will get root 5 by 2 is equal to 5 minus this 16, 16 will be cancelled out and you will left with 10 minus 2 root 5 over this will become a square plus b square that means 5 plus 1 minus 2 root 5 and that will be equal to 5 minus 10 minus 2 root 5 over 6 minus 2 root 5 and when you will solve this by rationalizing it you will get k is equal to 4. I think that you can do easily. Now, next question is if sin x over a is equal to cos x over b is equal to tan x over c equal to k. Then you have to find out the value for bc plus 1 over ck plus ak over 1 plus bk. Now from here you get value for b then this will be equal to cos x over k. So you will put here cos x over k and for c it will become tan x over k plus ck is tan x so this will be 1 by tan x plus ak is sin x and bk is 1 plus cos x now when you open this sin x over cos x this cos cos will be cancelled out and you will left with sin x over k square plus this will be cos x over sin x plus sin x over 1 plus cos x. Now, when you take LCM of this, then you are left with sin x 1 plus cos x. This is cos x plus cos square x plus sin square x. And here, it is sin x over k square. Now, this sin x over x square will be as it is plus this cos square x plus sin square x is 1 and this will become 1 plus sin x, 1 plus cos x, sorry, 1 plus cos x over 
sin x into 1 plus cos x. This 1 plus cos x will be cancelled out and you are left with sin x over k square plus 1 over sin x. From here sin x is equal to a k. So you will get a k over k square plus 1 over a k. 1 k will be cancelled out and you are left with a by k plus 1 by a k. Take 1 by k common, you are left with 1 plus 1 by a. This is the required value for the expression bc plus 1 over ck plus ak over 1 plus bk. Now, next question is tan 203 degree plus tan 22 degree plus tan 203 degree and tan of 22 degree is equal to what? You have to find out this value. Now, whenever you get a question like tan A plus tan B plus tan A tan B, the first thing which should come to your mind is tan of A plus B. Now, you know that tan of A plus B is equal to tan of A plus tan of B over 1 minus tan A into tan B. So if you take 203 here, so this will be equal to tan of 203 degree plus 22 degree. This is tan 203 degree plus tan 22 degree all over 1 minus tan 203 degree into tan of 22 degree. Now this will become tan 225 degree. This will be tan of 203 degree plus tan of 22 degree over 1 minus tan of 203 degree and then tan of 22 degree. Now this is tan of pi plus 45. This is tan of 180 plus 45 and this is equal to minus tan of this is plus tan of 45 not minus because this will be in third quadrant in third quadrant tan and cot are positive so this will be equal to 1 and you write here 1 is equal to this and when So you cross multiply, this is tan 22 degree is equal to tan 203 degree plus tan 22 degree. Now take this factor on the right hand side you are left with tan 203 degree plus tan of 22 degree plus tan of 203 degree, tan of 22 degree, which is the required answer. This is equal to 1. Now, next question is, the value for, you have to find out the value for sine of 12 degree, sine of 48 degree, and sine of 54 degree. Now if you multiply this by 2 and divide by 2, then you will have 1 by 2, 2 sine A cos B. Uh, sorry, this is 2 sine A sine B. And this is equal to cos of a minus b which is equal to cos of 36 and minus cos of a plus b which will be cos of 
a plus b will become 60. And this is sin 54 degree. Now, this is 1 by 2 cos 36 degree minus cos 60 is 1 by 2 again and sin 54 degree. Now, this is 1 by 2. You can write sin 54 as cos of 36 degree because sin of 90 minus 36 is sin 54 and this will make cos of 36 degree and this is 1 by 2 cos square 36 degree minus 1 by 4 cos of 36 degree. Now cos 36 is root 5 plus 1 by 4 so you will get 1 by 2 root 5 plus 1 by 4 the whole square over 4 square minus 1 by 4, this will be root 5 plus 1 over 4. And this will be equal to 1 by 2. This will be root 5, 5 plus 1 plus 2 root 5 by 16 minus root 5 plus 1 by 16. And this will be equal to I will take LCM, this will be 32, 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 root 5, minus 2 root 5, and this will become minus 2. This will be equal to, this 2 root 5, 2 root 5 will be cancelled out, and 6 to 4 by 32, which will, gives you, 1 by 8. Now, next question is, tan is to power 6 pi by 9 minus the 3 10 is to power 4 pi by 9 plus 27 10 square pi by 9. And you have to find out the value of this expression. As we take here pi by 9, then we will calculate it. This will be 20 degree. And you have to find out the value of this in terms of pi by 3, pi by 6. Uh, so, now pi by 9 is 20 degree. So, you can write 3 20 degree is equal to 60 degree. So, you can say that 3 pi by 9 is equal to pi by 3. Now, if you take this as theta, and three theta will be equal to pi by three. So here we will write tan of three theta is equal to three tan theta minus tan cube theta all over one minus three tan square theta. Now here tan three theta is tan pi by three. So this will be tan pi by 3 is equal to 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta all over 1 minus 3 tan square theta. Now tan pi by 3 is root 3. This is root of 3, 3 tan theta. Let it, this theta be, uh, this pi by 9 be uh, theta only. So, so this will be 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta over 1 minus 3 tan square theta. Now if you square both sides, then you will get 
थ्री इज टू थ्री टाइम थीटा माइनस टेन क्यूब थ्री थीटा होल रेस्ट पावर टू ओवर वन माइनस थ्री टेन स्क्वेयर थीटा होल स्क्वेयर नौ ओपनिंग द स्क्वेयर विल गेट थ्री इज टू टू दिस इज थ्री टेन theta minus 10 cube theta the whole square and take this on the left hand side this will become 3 of 1 minus 3 tan square theta the whole square now this will become 3 into 1 plus 9 tan square theta Minus six tan square theta. This will become tan four theta because we are taking the square of tan square theta. So this will be tan four theta. Minus six tan square theta is equal to this will be nine tan square theta plus tan six theta minus this will be two ab. So two theta six. Minus six, ten, four. Now when you open this, so this will become three plus twenty-seven and four theta minus eighteen ten square theta is equal to nine ten square theta plus ten is equal to six theta minus six. Ten four theta. Now again, taking this twenty seven ten is to four theta and eighteen ten square theta on the right hand side you will be left with three is equal to. Uh, let it arrange in the order. This will be ten is to six theta. This is twenty seven ten four theta and this is six ten four theta. So this will become minus thirty three ten is to four theta. This is nine square ten square theta. This is minus eighteen ten square theta. When you go to the right hand side, this will make uh, nine plus eighteen, which is equal to twenty seven ten square theta. Now, if you put the value of theta here, this is pi by nine, so you get the same as it is ten is to six pi by nine minus thirty three ten is to four pi by nine plus twenty seven ten is to two pi by nine, and this is equal to three. And if we take this as root three, the whole square. So this is equal to tan of pi by three whole square. That means tan square pi by three. So the value of this whole expression is tan square pi by three because tan pi by three was root three. And when we will take square of this tan pi by three, we will get three. Next question is: If three sine beta is equal to sine of twelve half plus beta, then you have to tell that ten alpha plus beta minus two ten alpha will be independent of either alpha or beta or both or none. So first of all, to find this, we will simplify this expression, which is tan alpha plus beta minus two tan alpha. Here we can take this is sine of alpha plus beta over cos of alpha plus beta minus two sine alpha over cos alpha. Now when you will take LCM here. We we'll get cos of alpha plus beta into cos alpha, and this will become sine of alpha plus beta 
because of alpha, final two sin alpha, and the cos of alpha plus beta. Now, when you will write it like two sin a, that will be like this only. Sin of alpha plus beta into cos of alpha, and this will become minus two sin alpha cos alpha plus beta. And to this, we can write this is two cos a sin b, and two cos a sin b was equal to this is sin of alpha plus beta cos alpha minus 2 cos a sin b because here angle with the cos is greater because this is alpha plus beta. So we'll take, we'll apply here 2 cos a sin b and this is equal to sin of a plus b so that means sin of 2 alpha plus beta minus sin a minus b minus sin a minus b, that will become sine of beta only, all over cos of alpha plus beta into cos alpha. Now, when you multiply this by 2, to here, to here, and to here, then this will also be 2. Now again, applying 2 sin a cos b here, we will get sin of 2 alpha plus beta and plus sin of beta. And this will be equal to minus 2 sin of 2 alpha plus beta plus 2 sin beta all over 2 cos alpha plus beta into cos alpha. Now, when you solve this, this is 3 sin beta minus sin of 2 alpha plus beta all over twice of cos of alpha plus beta into cos alpha. Now, since you are given that 3 sin beta is equal to sin 2 alpha plus beta, so when you put this value here, you will get 3 sin beta minus 3 sin beta all over twice of cos of alpha plus beta and cos of alpha. Now 3 sin beta minus 3 sin beta is equal to 0, so at the end you will get this is equal to 0. Now since the value of this expression is zero. Therefore, we can say that the value of this expression doesn't depend on either on alpha or beta. We can say that this expression is independent of alpha and beta. Now, Next question, you are given that alpha, beta, gamma and delta are the smallest positive angles in ascending order of magnitude, are the smallest angle in the ascending order, that is alpha is less than beta, less than gamma and less than delta, which have their sign equal to positive quantity k, that means sign of alpha is equal to sign of beta, your sine of gamma, your sine of delta is equal to k, this is given to you. Then the value of 4 sine alpha by 2 plus 3 sine beta by 2 plus 2 sine gamma by 2 plus sine delta by 2 is equal to what? You have to find out the value of this expression in terms of k. Now, first of all, 
alpha is less than beta, less than gamma, less than delta. And also, sine of alpha, sine of beta, sine of gamma, and sine of delta. All these have same value, which is okay. That means these angles should be equal. But here, this is given that alpha is less than beta, less than gamma, less than delta. And we know that trigonometric function is a periodic function. Therefore, since we are supposed to uh, take the smallest positive angles in ascending order, and we take the smallest positive angle, let it be alpha, <laughs> such that value of sine alpha is known, that is k. Now this value will be same of sine alpha in second quadrant, because sine is positive only in first and second. If we take sine of angle in third and fourth, it will become negative. So if it is alpha here, so we can say that for the second term, for the second smallest angle, we will take pi minus alpha. Now, if this is a alpha and this is a beta, then beta is equal to pi minus alpha. Again, when we will take the smallest angle for sine, then we will be gamma. Gamma cannot be in third quadrant. It cannot be in fourth quadrant. Because if it will be in third or fourth quadrant, either trigonometric function will be changed, that means sine to cos, or negative sine will appear. So that's why to have the same value, k, we had to come into the first quadrant again. Then we can take gamma as 2 pi plus alpha. So that you can get the value of sine gamma same as k. Now when again it will be in second quadrant, then this will become 3 pi minus alpha. Therefore we can write delta is equal to 3 pi minus alpha. I hope this will be clear to all of you. Now, when you put the value of alpha, beta, gamma, delta, in terms of alpha, from these values here, so you will find 4 sine alpha by 2 plus 3 sine, what is beta here? Beta is pi minus alpha by 2 plus twice of sine of, what is gamma here? Gamma is, gamma is, this is 2 pi plus alpha by 2. And what is delta? Delta is plus sine of 3 pi minus alpha by 2. Now when you solve it, you will get 4 sine alpha by 2 plus, this is sine of pi by 2 minus alpha by 2. That will make cos of alpha by 2. So this will be 3 cos alpha by 2. This is pi plus alpha by 2. Now since this is in second quadrant, uh, sorry, third quadrant, therefore this will be minus of 2 sine alpha by 2 and sine 3 pi by 2 minus alpha. This will make cos alpha by 2. And since this is in third quadrant, this will make minus cos alpha by 2. And now this is 2 sine alpha by 2 plus 2 cos alpha by 2. Now, this is, when you take 2 outside, you will get sine alpha by 2 plus cos of alpha by 2. Now, this can be written as twice of under the root 1 plus sin alpha because if you put 1 as sin square alpha by 2 plus cos square alpha by 2 and sin alpha is equal to 2 sin alpha by 2 plus cos alpha by 2 so this will be equal to sin alpha by 2 plus cos alpha by 2 the whole square and here square and under root will cancel out and again you are left with this but the one condition should be there uh, that 
it should be negative, it can be negative, but we will not take negative here because under root of this when it comes out positive only. Therefore, now we will put the value of sine alpha from this equality, this is k. So this is the required answer. And so 4 sin alpha by 2 plus 3 sin beta by 2 plus 2 sin gamma by 2 plus sin delta by 2 is equal to twice of whole under the root 1 plus k. Now, let's find the value of cos of 2 pi by 7 plus cos of 4 pi by 7 plus cos of 6 pi by 7 plus cos of 7 pi by 7. Now, first of all, this 7, 7 will be cancelled cos pi. Cos pi is minus 1. So we, you will be left with cos of 2 pi by 7 plus cos of 4 pi by 7 plus cos of 6 pi by 7 minus 1. Now, to find the value for this cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7, we will multiply it by 1 by 2 sin pi by 7 and divide by 2 sin pi by 7 so that it will become twice of sin pi by 7 cos 2 pi by 7 plus twice of sin pi by 7 cos of 4 pi by 7 plus twice of sin of pi by 7 cos of 6 pi by 7 minus 1 and this is all into 1 over 2 sin pi by 7. This will be equal to Take 1 over 2 sin pi by 7 outside. This is 2, since here angle of cos is greater, therefore to cos A sin B, we will apply here to cos A sin B, this is equal to sin of A plus B, that means 3 pi by 7, minus sin of A minus B, that means pi by 7. Again, here angle of cos is greater, also here angle of cos is greater, so we will apply sin A plus b minus sin of a minus b only. So here it will become sin of pi pi by 7 minus sin of 3 pi by 7. And here this will be plus sin of 7 pi by 7 minus sin of pi pi by 7 whole into minus 1. Now this sin 3 pi by 7 will be cancelled out and this sin 5 pi by 7 will also cancel out. This 7 sin will cancel out because sin pi is 0. So ultimately you will left with Seven. 1 by 2 sin of pi by 7 into minus sine of pi by 7 minus 1. The sine pi by 7 pi by 7 will be cancelled out and you're left with minus 1 by 2 minus 1 which will give you minus 3 by 2. Now, next question is, If d is equal to it is one cos theta one minus sin theta one minus cos theta minus one sin theta one this is determinant then you have to tell the interval of d. Either you can solve this determinant by operating 
all you can find the value of determinant directly. 1, this is 1 plus sin theta cos theta because minus minus will come positive. This is minus cos theta into this is minus sin theta and this is again minus minus plus and again minus minus cos theta and then plus 1 this is minus sin square theta plus 1 now open this you will get 1 plus sin theta cos theta plus sin theta cos theta plus cos square theta minus sin square theta plus 1. Now this will make 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now this is equal to sin 2 theta And this is cos 2 theta. And now we know that for this expression we have done already that maximum and minimum value for this is like a cos x cos theta plus b cos theta plus c is c minus root of a square plus b square and maximum value is c plus root of a square plus b square. Now here c is 2 and a is 1 square plus 1 square and this is 2 plus and root 1 square plus 1 square. This will be 2 minus root 2 and this will be 2 plus root 2. So this is the interval of d 2 minus root 2 and 2 plus root 2. Uh, I think all of you know the multiplication of two matrices. Uh, let me tell you tips. Suppose if it is 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 4, 0, minus 5, 6, 3. And this is 1, 2, minus 1, 4, minus 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. You want to multiply it. So you know the basic formula that when, uh, first of all, you will multiply first row by first column. And this gives you first element of the resultant matrix. And to find the second element, you will multiply this by second column, then multiply with the third column. And similar pattern you will find here. But you will do the same thing, but in a different pattern, which will make this multiplication very <coughs> easy. We will put one column of the second matrix, 1, 2, minus 1, on the first row of the first matrix. Then you multiply it 1 by 1. 1 into 1 is 1, plus 2, 2 is 4, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1, 1, 3 is 3, 2, 4 is 8, minus 1 plus 0, 1, 5 is minus 5, 2, 6 is 12, minus 1, 3 is minus 3. This will give you first column without any mistake. And then when you want to find out second column for the by multiplying this matrix, then you will put second column here, 2, minus 3, and 1. Then, again you will write second column as 2, 1, ja, 2, minus 6, minus 1, 2, 3, ja, 6, minus 12, plus 0. We are doing the same thing, but in a different pattern, which will make multiplication of these two matrix very easy. 2, 5, ja, minus 10, minus 18, 1, 3, ja, 3, and there is no chance of mistake.
and to find the third, and drop this and write the third column here, 0, 1, 1. This is 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 plus 2 minus 1. This is 0 plus 4 plus 0. This is 0 plus 6. And this is plus 3. This is 4, 5, 6. And this is how you can multiply two matrices, which will make it easy and it will take less time rather than multiplying it by the method. So let's come to our own topic, that is geometry. Now next question you have. You have to find out the value for sine x into sine of 60 minus x into sine of 60 plus x. This is given to you. That this is equal to 1 by 8. Now, you have to find out the value for x, which will be equal to, now you know that this expression, sine of theta, sine of 60 minus theta, and sine of 60 plus theta, yes, it was equal to, this was equal to 1 by 4, sine of 3 theta. Therefore, here you can write 1 by 4 sine of 3x is equal to 1 by 8. Now, from here, sine 3x will be equal to 1 by 2. Now, this will give you sine of 3x is equal to sine of pi by 6. Now, we know that for sine theta, your sine alpha theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to the alpha into uh, this is uh, sorry, this is minus 1 raised to the n into alpha. So when you put from here, you get 3x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to the n into pi by 6. Take 3 in the denominator of right hand side, you'll get n pi by 3 plus minus 1 but n into pi by 18. This is the general solution for x.